Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Keeping Up with the Chaldeans. I'm here with uh, Junior Binu, Karen Binu at Corey. Uh, we're here to uh, talk about drench dressing, how it got started, and uh, and uh, the health benefits and, and all the good stuff, the, all the ingredients it, it involved with. Uh, introduce you to uh, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Junior. Hi, Anthony. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming out. I just want to congratulate you guys on keeping up with the Chaldeans. And Thank you. That's a great way to showcase our community and how driven and hardworking and ambitious we are. And um, I have a present for both of you. Oh. I like already? It. Right. Already. You guys each get oh, wow. samples of my dressings. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is awesome. This is my pleasure. Awesome. I'm happy to share. Ta-da. Ta-da. Drench dressing. I love it. I love the name, by the way. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. That's what we love to do, right? We kind of yeah. like to douse our food Drench with, it up. With, That's me. with dressing. And it's so good for you, it doesn't matter how much you use. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us a little bit about uh, you know how 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 you got started and maybe even further back on you know where you got your family values from and all that good stuff. Okay, so um, so my parents um, they've always inspired us to eat healthy, encouraged us to eat healthy at a young age. I remember my mom; she never cooked with corn oil or mazola. It was always olive oh, really? oil, very little salt. My <clears throat> dad um, never allowed white bread in the house. It was always wow. whole wheat and skim milk, never whole milk. So we had the strong roots when it came to eating healthy. Um, nice. So yeah, so I um, we we had those roots. But then, so when I got married, um, like everyone else, we want to feed our kids healthy. We have um, three kids, me and my husband, Jim, um, Annabella, Jimmy, Angelina. And, you know, I, I, at a young age, I noticed, you know, there are so many chemicals in our food. And I just started paying more attention to labels, reading ingredients. And I couldn't believe the, the, the chemicals in our food, right. especially in dressings. Um, there was one ingredient that I remember had um, one that was in one of the dressings was titanium dioxide. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Sounds tasty, right? Yeah, Sprinkle tasty. a little on my tacos tonight. <laughs> so I Googled, what is titanium dioxide? And the response was, it's a whitening agent for paint mm. used in industrial manufacturing. And I'm like, what is that doing in our food? So then I Googled, why does the FDA allow it? And it allows it because it, it's only allowed in small doses. Which, to me, what's regardless... The, what's the <laughs> point or the purpose of including that ingredient in a, in a dressing that yeah. isn't named a drench? Good question. So, if you have like a ranch or a white dressing, mm-hmm. then you want to make it whiter and more appealable. Really? Oh, so, wow. yes. So, it's just look... It's that basically there paint. for looks. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, it is. That's it. It's insane. Yeah. So, the foundation, the premise of, of drench is that we have none of those chemicals. Mm-hmm. All the ingredients are clean um, and we're very transparent. All of the ingredients are right on front of the bottle, similar to a cold-pressed bottle of juice. Nice. You can read them all, pronounce them all, and more than likely, they're ingredients you have in your own home, in your own pantry. Sure. So it's just nice to have the convenience of of a dressing in a bottle if you don't have time to make your own. I always encourage everyone to make your own, but it's nice to have this. This is the closest thing to homemade. Are these natural preservatives that are also <laughs> in there to keep it preserved? Um, because my biggest thing is some of the nitrates and stuff yes. that they put in, that's what triggers my migraines very bad. Like, I yeah. can't even eat a normal hot dog oh, yeah. at, a, right. at a baseball right. game. By seventh inning, I'm tossing up in headaches because of that. Hmm. So. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So it's just natural. There's no artificial preservatives, no artificial great. colors. And we keep in mind that there, there's so many allergens nowadays yep. and, and also so many health um, issues. I mean cancer it's everywhere yeah. if you don't have it you know someone who does right and um i firmly believe that there's a common denominator it's our food yeah you yes. know there's so much of it. easiest oh, yeah. way to control yes. population in my opinion the stuff that you're talking about is guaranteed got to have some point of cancer accelerant in there right i mean it all can't the, be worth all the other the stuff, titanium right? all yeah. that other stuff it just oh for sure yeah so you have a bunch of different flavors and some without labels what's yeah. the uh, what's the story behind these so things? and so t- give us the the, the rundown on the flavors that are currently out in stores so right now we have two flavors that are available in stores we have the citrus honey vinaigrette mm-hmm. and this is our signature this is how it all started okay um i was just in my kitchen mixing up making a salad 
and like I said, reading bottles and saying, well, I can't, what, what, what point is it to make a healthy salad and then pour all these chemicals on it? Yeah. So that's when I started making my own, and uh, and um, that was the original salad I made. Got a ton of compliments on it. And so what came first, the, the salad or the dressing? I would like the chicken say, or the egg, right? Um, it was kind of all at the same time. Really? Yeah, you know. And I'm I'm like a, a mad scientist in the kitchen. I like mixing up different concoctions. And um, when I was, you know, when my kids were in school, when we would, um, you know, bring stuff for the teachers. A lot mm-hmm. of the teacher appreciation stuff. Most most parents would bring bagels and cream cheese. I was yeah. always making salads. It looks delicious. <laughs> Did you have resistance yeah. from your children growing up? Like, see, I know you were saying. Um, that as you were growing up, you and your siblings were uh, given a lot of more cleanliness, yeah, healthy. eating, healthier eating. Are your kids opposed at times with that? I mean, you know, because these yeah. days kids just want to run to the pizza yeah. and everything else quickly. So how did that work out with them? So I think it's all what you get them accustomed to in your home. Sure. Honestly, like we grew up with so many different unique flavors like eggplant and okra. Yep. You know, and that was what we grew up with. Yep. Like pacha. Like that's yep. not a common thing. So sure. I think it's just what you get your kids used to. And I always tell my kids, you got to try it. If you don't like it, fine. You don't have to eat it, but right. just try it. And then I was reading a book that said if you eat something 13 times, eventually yeah. you'll like it. Yeah. <laughs> you get comfortable with the flavors, the smell, the look. So what's this other flavor? Um, okay, so this one is Mediterranean lemon. This was inspired. Right yeah, this is yeah. a traditional tapuli fatouge type dressing. Great on Greek salad, and um, it's very versatile. Like I marinate with it, mm-hmm. and, and you could do that with all the dressings. Marinate. Nice. My kids use it as a dipping sauce for chicken fingers. Oh wow! Um, yeah, it's it's great. And um, I brought actually I brought you a little snack. Um, this is avocado toast. It looks delicious. And, looks awesome. And um, it has so it's a it's a sprouted grain bread, which sprouted um, bread has higher nutrients than an average um, bread, and it has. You get that out of the freezer, right? It like uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I think Whole Foods now has it on the shelf, but um, so I I slathered it with avocado. I put mm-hmm. some pea shoots. I like the microgreens; those are high in nutrients. Put a little bit of pomegranate, and you can drizzle it with the Mediterranean lemon. Delicious. Mm, that's awesome. And you yeah. said you can marinate meats with it, too, as well? Oh, my God. I marinate chicken, and um, the chef at Plum Market marinates lamb chops. Oh, wow. So, yeah. It's that's awesome. a good idea. Because it has yeah. all the ingredients, like mint, garlic. Um, this was actually inspired by my loving mother-in-law, who passed away a couple of years ago. Oh, oh. And so, oh, God, like every other... Girl. Thank you. So, like every other... Middle Eastern woman, they really never measured. Right. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Middle Eastern right? man, it's fun. I'll tell you yeah. something in yeah, a second. They just but don't I don't measure. Never measure. So, um, after she passed, I tried recreating her dressing because we all loved it. Mm-hmm. So, and that's how I came up with, with the Mediterranean Very lemon. Nice. She was a wonderful woman. I was and then so the blessed. salad that it, it looks so delicious, there's a story behind it, or, or it, it, it's in the Equinox or something like that? So, when I first, when I first launched, um, so, Plum Market, Market Square, um, Beyond Juice, and um, and in because Beyond Juice is an equal right, right, okay. They um, they did have my salad, mm-hmm. so they do them as specials. Yeah. You know, they promote them as specials from here. You know, from time to time. So Drench is also available at Naked Fuel in West Bloomfield. That's Caldean owned as well. Natasha Hermes, and you can get some get some great juices and smoothies there. So your salads is, is your salad a business in it in itself? Not really. I, I didn't. I really didn't have the time mm-hmm. to do the salads. It was sure. a lot of work. I, I mean, I was doing it initially. Mm-hmm. Then I, that's when I decided to bottle yeah, the this, dressing. I think this is a much bigger yeah. play. Yep. Yeah, it looks a lot easier to work with. Sure. It's yeah. funny because, like, that's that's how it started. But how I got motivated. <laughs> Yeah, let's hear it's that. different. So when I, I was thinking about bottling them, my husband says, oh, God. He goes, just add it to the list of all the other things you've started and you haven't yeah, finished. There you go. And I was like, oh, my God. I can't believe you just said that. I'm going to prove Challenge him wrong. Challenge on. Yeah. Challenge on. So that's, that's what made me follow through. I that's mean, awesome. it was it took years. And, and I did have a health setback um, a couple of years ago, which held me back a year. Mm-hmm. But it just made me realize how much Can more important. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I can. It, it, you know, I had, yeah. um, I had a, I had pre-cancer cells, mm-hmm. so it just made me realize that um, 
thank God, you know, it wasn't as bad as it was. But yeah. It made me realize that, you know, now more than ever, no, it's more, more important. More important, right? Yeah. Stay clean. Yes, when stay clean, eat. for yep. sure. You guys got to remember, think about it. What did, I mean, I know, what did we grow up on? Burger King, yeah. McDonald's, as yeah. we were growing up. Yes. Our Taco parents Bell. never knew Taco Bell, you know what yeah. I mean? Jack Hardy's, in the box, oh, Jack. if you want to go way back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you know, when yeah. everything that we ate at these parks and everything. So, well, imagine, it, imagine had you not been eating mm-hmm. properly, how advanced the cancer cells could oh, have been. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You weren't exactly. feeding them, you were starving them and right. they, yes, that that's a, a blessing. And just the allergies out there nowadays, like I when I'm demoing and, and, and sampling, um, I can't tell you how many people I meet with allergies. And they're all it just varies. And they're always happy to hear that they're nut free, they're gluten free, mm-hmm. dairy free, wow. GMO free, refined sugar free. We never use any refined sugar. The one the dressings that are sweet have a little bit of honey or maple syrup. Nice. Or, yeah. or, what's, or the, natural, what's the shelf life for these? The shelf life is great. It's a year until is you it really? yeah, until wow. you open it, it's and then it's good for sixty to ninety days. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So once you open it, you've got about a Three month window to be able to use it. Exactly. That's I mean, plenty. that I mean, one really never. I mean, they really don't go bad. There's no nothing in it. Sure. Really, you know, you just use your best judgment. And then these other ones. Yeah, that, let's talk about those. They don't yep. have the labels. Okay, these are my experiments. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but healthy experiments. So this is a pomegranate vinaigrette. Sounds tasty. Yeah. So, so would you like to try so it? I, I understand we're going to be your guinea pigs yes. here. Yes. Yes. Exciting. And speaking of that, I was thinking about having a focus group. Um, so if anyone is interested um, to sample all my new dressings um, that haven't been out yet, um, you do you can, want them to email you? Or? Yeah, you can reach me at uh, Karen K A R E N at idrench dot com. Mm. What do you think? It's, That's amazing. Ah, oh, okay. And uh, we'll include that uh, email address in the description okay. below, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, so, that is great. And if that you wonder great, why. Mm-hmm. You slap your tongue a few times after knowing. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Mom, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yay! That's what I love to hear. Okay, so this is a balsamic fig vinaigrette that's sweetened with mission figs. And you demo these uh, these products at... Uh, I do. Um, thank you. At Plum and... Yes, and uh, Plum, Market Square, Market Fresh. Oh, yeah. Um, that's got that good The Chaldeans too. have been wonderful and, and encouraging and promoting my product um, I can't tell you how wonderful the community is so how long do you test like so right now you've created these new flavors yes what's your testing time before you actually put them out in, in, in market or production so there's not and really can I be a tester of any, <laughs> of okay yes. I just wanted to know <laughs> So there really isn't a time I'm just I'm such a perfectionist though mm-hmm. and until it's perfect like to my standards, then I won't put it out. So the pomegranate I've been working on for a while. I mean, I was wondering, should I go savory? Should I go sweet? Um, And this is, okay, so this one is new. And I know I mentioned that um, my dressings are nut-free, gluten-free, etc. This, I kind of ventured um, out of the box. This is vegan. um, Okay. But there, and I'll tell you after you try it. All right, awesome. Okay, here, sorry. It's okay. It's called a green goddess. So that's really popular right now. You'll find this everywhere. Wow, a lot of that's things with g- super clean. A lot, I would say a lot of things with greens these days. Yeah, it has it's such a, a health benefit. This is my favorite. Really? It has a yeah. ton of herbs. It has um, cilantro, basil. Oh, man. Um, I like this. This would go amazing with chicken. Parsley, yeah. That is a lot. Yeah, wow. it's similar to a ranch, I would say. So now if I told you what the base of this is, you probably wouldn't believe me. Can we guess? Sure. Broccoli? <laughs> Kale? No. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. On, anyone, Not avocado. Is it avocado? Else, <laughs> want to take a guess? Come on, Aaron. What do you think? <clears throat> but he hasn't tried it. He hasn't tasted it. Uh, Cold flour. <laughs> <laughs> it has cashews. That's the base. Oh, wow. That's how, Yeah. So instead of how, how is cashew a base? I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand the yeah. makeup of a dressing, but how yeah, is cashew yeah. a base? I mean, just like cashew butter, almond butter. Uh-huh. Um, th- there's so much of that now that we're. I mean, just tahini. Isn't that cost a fortune, though. Yeah, that's the thing. How are you going to keep the cost down on I know. <laughs> something that's like that? Because you, you're keeping everything natural as you're yeah. putting all the products in. Yeah. And my ingredients are high quality. Like for example, for the 
the Mediterranean lemon, we only used fresh, we only use fresh squeezed lemons, mm-hmm. and we get it for local here from Western Market, Keldian owned yep. Beautiful. store. Yeah, Keldian. Keldian yeah. Power. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned um, a few Keldian stores, and I sorry yeah. to cut you off. I'll let you get back to the explanation, no, okay. but you mentioned some Keldian stores. Where else can this be found? Where else can Drench be found? So it's available on Amazon. Mm-hmm. So um, if you have Amazon Prime, yeah, two days and it's on your doorstep. Everyone has yeah. Amazon. Yep. Yep. So guys out Easy. there, girls out there, go check yeah. it out on Amazon. Just yeah. look it up. Add it to your favorites. You don't have to buy it right away. But <laughs> as soon as you get an order, click it and, and uh, get, get yourself do yourself a favor and get some in, in your house. For yeah, your family. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's um it's, it's so great Amazon to have. and then so Amazon and then a lot of the Keldian owned markets. Um, we have Plum Market, as I mentioned, Market Square, Market Fresh, uh, Harbor Town Market in Detroit. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Picnic Basket in Plymouth. Uh, Alan Grace Jonah, wonderful people. Uh, Fresh Farms Market in Gross Point. Wow. Um, Heartland Stevie Market. B. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie so, Nager. Wonderful community. Larry, let Stevie and Larry Nager. Also, I'd like to thank uh, my dear friend, Denise Addo, who's always there for me. Um, whenever I need her, she's she's always there. Thank you. Love you. Thank you, Angelina, my baby. Mom, she's my youngest daughter. She's 14, going to be 15. And uh, she's just always keeps everyone happy. She has happy spirits, and she's always keeping everything light and fun. And she's been awesome and a great help with Drench. Yeah, and a shout out to Isaac Hanna. He was so wonderful early on. Uh, How did he help you? So he he's a dear friend of ours. He was over one day for lunch, and I made him the salad. Oh, really? He loved it, and I told him about what I was thinking about. I was thinking about bottling the dressings. I was just having a hard time with the logo. I know what I want, but and he said, well, done. I have a graphic designer. I'm going to mm-hmm. have him help you. Um yeah, he was just Ta-da. wonderful. There you Ta-da. go. <laughs> Isaac's a great guy. If you oh, don't know him. He's done a lot of uh, business in the community. He's yeah. been. He was a major player, and he think he still is with the wireless industry. So yeah, yeah. yep. He was very, very uh, strong in that in the uh, '90s and even the 2000s. And he's always he's always yeah. there to help. Anyone. He's a hustler too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. He's great. A uh, question for you: uh, What got you into these stores? What, what, what is it? You yourself that stepped foot in and, and marketed yourself, or do you have a team now that's helping you with this? Or how, how are you going about getting your exposure? Uh, so initially, um, I, it was just me, and uh, it started when it was just a mason jar. I went into Plum Market and asked to speak to the buyer, and I wanted to get in on my own merit. I could have called the owners and said, right. "Hey." But I said, you know, let me just try and get in on my own merit and see how that goes. Um, Becky Harrison, she's a buyer, loved it, and uh, she gave me a chance, mm. which was nice. That's and um, and don't get me wrong, if if someone gives me a no, yeah. I will go, I will try so and go to the Becky top. Becky really didn't have a chance. <laughs> she didn't have a chance. But God bless her for <laughs> seeing seeing the product yeah. for what it was. That's, That's great, one thing though. I encourage anyone starting a business is perseverance. Yeah. Um, my sister jokes because. Um, I mean, I won't take no for an answer. And she says, the only no I ever got was at the cider mill. <laughs> and she's like, Karen, it's the cider mill. Because I was disappointed they didn't, they didn't want to carry it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, um, and it was they, all, they already had their own line of dressings. And I'm right. like, okay. But you know what? I just keep asking, I, you know. Yeah, you should. So, and that's and a, it, you good know advice it, to, to, to the people out there, too. Definitely. So the name itself, I see, is trademarked. Yeah. Is the product at any point trademarked, or can it be if it's already out there? Or how does that work yeah. to make sure that your copy or the, yeah, so, you're, you're yeah, protected? So, yeah. So the the processes um, can be patented. Um, okay. So yes. Good. Yeah. That's. Yep, that's in progress right now. It takes a while. I've been through that process. Yeah, it it's, does. A, it's painstaking. A lot mm-hmm. of back and forth paperwork yeah, and involved. Yes, and expensive. But, yes, Very expensive. it is. But it's it's in need just so that way. You know, if anybody wants mm-hmm. to use the name of the product, you have some royalties that you can get back, which is another avenue yeah. at some point for you. And one other thing we're doing is we have this available for food service. So it's available by the gallon. Mm. Um, currently, we have um, Cafe Sugo in Birmingham. That's a Caldean owned establishment. Yep. A quaint, sure, it's Chris Romano. Yes, yep. a quaint um, cafe, uh, very healthy foods. And um, Tommy's brother, Chris? No, co- two, cousin Chris. Oh, okay, okay. Bobby Seaman's cousin Chris. Okay, okay, okay. So he's cousin Chris, and little buddy is 
Bobby Seaman's friend, Chris. Okay. Other Chris Romano. All right. <laughs> gotcha. I didn't know so, that. Nice. So Drunch Dressing is the only dressing they serve there, which mm. is nice. Great. And then also, um, exciting news, we just got into Henry Ford. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so they're wow. going to be serving it in to their patients. And Hospitals? Hospitals. Wow. Yeah. Well, now, just, just to... Uh, Maybe if you can just real quick to fill in. Yes. Henry Ford, one on Maple, I know, has that top floor, which is just clean eating in general. Yes. Like if you ever want to get away for a lunch break, not just go to the hospital, but really go to their cafe. Unbelievable endorsement that is by the the health. That's huge. Those guys do everything in-house a lot, too. because They have their own garden. Their own greenhouse. If anybody's checked Mm -hmm. it out, it's on the side of the building. You go in there. It's a Mm self-sustaining. It's vertical integration for their cafe. They're it's working amazing. on provo- promoting preventative health care right. versus treating the patient after the fact. That's right. great. That yeah, so they are, um, yeah, so they'll be serving this to their patients. Very it's cool. Exciting. Yeah. So I, I want to go uh, have an accident so I can go to. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm, so I'm saying to you that's a thing. <laughs> you would laugh. I said to you, do you want to go eat at Henry Ford at the cafe? <laughs> right, right. But really, but it, you, it, yeah. it, it's the way to like they'll they'll yeah. they do a lot of the. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, good diets and stuff up there yeah. too. Um, I see you have a lot of bottles that are sitting next to oh, us yeah. here. So I do want to talk about some of the stuff that you so, have. So, yes, I, I did touch on it earlier about the chemicals and the titanium dioxide. Mm-hmm. But these are all dressings. I went. And we're coffee. not saying all of these contain titanium no. dioxide. One or two of them do, but they have other chemicals in them that are just horrible. I mean, this is a, a national uh, restaurant chain that has bottled their dressings. Um, there's, uh, let's see. High fructose corn syrup. Mm-hmm. That's the second ingredient. Soybean oil is is right up there as well. Um, and that's one thing with our dressings. We don't use any soybean oil. We don't use canola or mm. corn corn oil. Those are all GMO oils, genetically yes. modified. Highly. They're highly inflammatory. We stay away from all that. Um, we only use um, olive oil grapeseed oil, and some of our dressings have avocado oil. Hmm. Um, and I noticed you, you picked up the bottle, and the reason why they separate yeah. is because there's no emulsifiers, Emulsifier. no thickeners. Sure. That's what dressing is supposed to do. Right. Like, we're so used to ranch. Ranch is uniform. It never separates. That's because of all the chemicals in there that keep right. it that way. Wow. Um, so that's what it's supposed to do. And you just shake it up real quick. It's, sure. um, yeah, there's, I mean, just so much. Like, you can't even pronounce some of these. Like, this is disodium inosinate. Disodium EDTA. I, I can't even say it, let alone yeah. want to eat it. Um, but think about it. Look how many of the stuff that is oh, sitting over there, stuff yeah. I yeah. found in it's my fridge, horrible. my family's fridge, horrible. friend's fridge. Yeah, I'm sure um, all these, these dressings are in people's refrigerators. Yeah. Sodium benzoate. That sounds like gasoline to mm. me. Yeah, yeah, uh, benz- yeah. it's a benzene. Yes. <laughs> but so I would, uh, if anyone's using these yeah. kinds of dressings, mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Karen didn't want to flash the names or the I wanted labels. To be a little respectful. But. She had she had covers on them, <laughs> but we told her we were gangster here. So, <laughs> but if you're using any of these dressings and probably the others, just switch to drench as soon as you can. Yeah. Read your labels. That's Read what your I labels. Encourage. There you go. Read your labels. Yeah. Sure. Especially emulsifiers. What people don't get is that's the bonding agent that makes like saying like oil and vinegar. Yeah. When the two yeah. don't connect with each other you've got to put the emulsifier in it to bond them together that stuff is not good for you at all yeah Yeah, it's unbelievable you know a lot of people have um are starting to switch um what many don't pay attention to which i like that you don't use is high fructose corn syrup you Mm -hmm. use honey instead for your sugars high fructose corn syrup is in almost everything that we find out there um Heinz just changed recently with some of their oh, stuff. Really? Not completely. You can still choose mm-hmm. one or the other, but there's now Simple Heinz, gotcha. which pulled away from high fructose corn syrup, too, and mm-hmm. is getting away from, like, GMO and stuff like and that, And the hydrogenated, too. too. Those oils are, are terrible. Um, and, in fact, they're going to be banned in 2020, I believe. Um, but they've already come up with an alternate to replace it. Mm-hmm. And it's called high oleic oil, and I believe it's a Monsanto well, it's just the way they name it. That's all we need. A yeah. little more Monsanto yeah. in our life. It's, it's the way they <laughs> name yeah. it. Yeah, so just read your labels and, you know, Google it. Read as much as you can about the products that you're putting in your body. Right. Well, what helps? Sorry, I don't mean no, to cut ahead. you, Anthony, no, no, but ahead. just to touch on what she's saying, if you pay attention to a lot of products, the word natural is very easily oh, thrown out there. Yeah. Right. Like I was saying and to you jokingly natural. earlier, I mean, uranium's from the earth. It's natural, natural. too. So, I mean, we're supposed to consume that. But, right. again, they, they can just tweak those words like high fructose corn syrup, natural sugar. It's right. not natural, but they've yeah. tried to fight it. If you look at some of the stuff they 
were marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Just say high fructose corn syrup or fructose corn syrup was okay. Yeah. It's just a way of saying refined sugar. It's not yeah. good for you. So you had a you had a Kardashian story for us. Oh. <laughs> so my There's a parallel there yes. and then there's a, a a business proposition there. Yes. So, well, my family has been really helpful. I mean, they've been amazing. So my husband, Jim, you know, he's a businessman, successful, at, you know, in the wireless industry and commercial real estate. Um, but he's been really respectful, like wants this to be my thing and, mm-hmm. and just always encouraging. Um, my kids, they've been wonderful. They're my delivery. I mean, they deliver for me. Oh, they're, you nice. know, they're, 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 they're all, it's been a family thing. So the other day I asked uh, my, my daughter, Bella, I said, Bella, um, can you just send some of the dressing to Kim Kardashian? <laughs> you know, because if she uses it, oh gosh, yeah. that would be amazing. And she's like, Mom, it just doesn't work that way. Like, she, I think she know. does have an in <laughs> on how to get it to to Kim Kardashian, but she doesn't want to do the work behind <laughs> the boom right. that, that that would follow. Right, right. <laughs> well, I mean, I was so I was on Instagram the other day, and she did say she's like, you know, Mom, I will do it this summer. I'll you know help you focus on figure dressing. it out. Because she was at school. She's at, um, at Michigan State right now in the Lyman Briggs program. So she's a wow. pretty rigorous um, program awesome. that she's in. Um, she wants to be a cosmetic dermatologist. So Good. Yeah. yeah. Keep pushing them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so um, I was just on Instagram, and I saw that Kourtney Kardashian's stylist mm-hmm. had just posted something, and I, um, I messaged her just out of the blue. I said, why not? Told her about Drench. Said I'd love to send you some samples, and she actually responded. I, mm. I couldn't believe it. Wow, nice. So yeah, so I just sent her some. We'll see what that what happens. That's the <laughs> first you event. Have, you share the yeah. same birthday as Courtney Kardashian, right? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome that that uh, that your perseverance, like you're saying, like you pushed it and just yeah. went forth and got you know. You never know that one deal can just land you huge you exposure. Know. No, and that's great. You know what I'm saying? Just to see another successful Chaldean business sure. that's gone so national and big. It's awesome. Thank you. You know, so I just, um, Karen and I are cousins. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we grew up together. A, a lot of stuff that when we were younger, we did. Um, seeing you come with this new business venture, it's awesome to know that. You know, and it's awesome to know that, you know, you got family that stays pushing like that, especially for, for a woman because as a family member, you think about it, most of the girls, like you girls, were were under our dad's wings, mm-hmm. and and it's either you did stuff with them or that's all you yeah. really had. You never really ventured right. off. I mean, I worked in the, in my dad's party stores pretty much my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you were you were strong. Yeah. You were pretty strong headed as a businesswoman back then too. I worked with you for years, but to see you come further when you separated from the norm, I applaud you because. Thank you. Um, just like like Mike did with Zip Sauce, they, right. they 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 went in and did the footwork themselves. Yep. The groundwork was there. You didn't take the lazy approach, and that's I commend you on doing that. Thank you. Um, do you have recipes anywhere that people or any um, stuff that you like recommendations like on your site or a blog or stuff yes, that people can I know do. how to use this with everything we talked about? So that my signature salad is the the kale salad that is on my website idrench.com. And there's other recipes as well, and they all pair with the different dressings. Mm. That one um, is a crowd pleaser. I recommend that, especially if you love to entertain. It's it's a big hit. It can be prepared way in advance, and you can dress it hours before because kale is nutrient rich. It's dense, um, so it holds up. It won't get um, soggy, huh? It won't get soggy. Oh, so wow. it's yeah, and then actually, the longer it sits, the better. So this is already dressed. Food. That's already dressed. Oh, nice. and, um, it smells like, amazing right it now. I can't yeah, wait I just, to try it. I'm just getting the whiff of this good stuff. Man. Everyone out there in yeah. TV land, go. Yeah, it's just, you, we have smell of vision on keeping up with the Chaldeans. Yeah. Yep. Yep, just yeah. hit the button in the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> yeah, and so that has kale, quinoa. I love quinoa, it's gluten free. Um, and then it has um, parma, shaved Parmesan, mm-hmm. and it has caramelized golden raisins and toasted pine nuts. So I took the old school Chaldean, mm-hmm. um, what I learned from my mom, how she served yellow rice. Yeah. They always sauteed the raisins and the nuts. Yep. So I did that. And That's that called quima, right? That, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it just it made it like over the top. It just, yeah. Awesome. It looks great. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And smells great. Yeah, yeah. and I have other recipes as well. I have um, I what I call a deconstructed guacamole salad. Um, love guac. Don't know anyone who doesn't. Sure. Um, so I do kale, the Mediterranean lemon dressing, and then I tap it off with avocado, 
tomato, red onion, uh, sometimes jalapeno, cilantro. It's, wow. That's delicious, too. Do you but have dishes I, for the rest of these, the newer um, ones? I do. There is one on there for the pomegranate. The other t- other two, not yet. And this is launching ne- next month, the balsamic fig. Oh, good. Oh, that's so awesome. we'll see that next month. Are you yeah. doing any um, upcoming uh, pop-ups in any stores that people can maybe visit you at that uh, just in case they want to try some of this yeah. on the spot? So I'm actually going to be at the um, the Mother of God, Mother Daughter Fashion Show this okay. Thursday yeah. at Shenandoah. Okay. Yeah, Bridget Kim and I is chairing that. Do you know and if there's still tickets available? For she, I mean, they were the last time I talked to her. They they were they were um, scheduled to like they planned to sell 500 tickets, and I think w- they only when is like this going on? This Thursday, so oh. in a couple of days. Yeah. So we got to get this yeah. episode out pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. So um, yeah, so I will Aaron, be there, and we're also serving our dressings and all the salads at Shenandoah. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, wow. we just donated all the all the dressings. So. That's great. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Go Shannon Doe on their, yeah. new, uh, <laughs> their new grill up top. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, uh, Have you seen yeah, it? Yeah, I was, uh, there for, I was there for my niece's uh, graduation after dinner. We went there. Kind of reminds me of the old Southfield Manor a little bit. Oh, oh. oh you're saying the, the dining room. I'm sorry, the dining room. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I said the grill, yeah. I thought the grill outside. Yep, so no, no, I apologize. Cool. Yeah, I meant the, uh, the, the dining room up up top beautiful yeah. the way they did it and uh again it reminds me of the old Southfield Manor a little bit right. when you'd walk into that little area and yeah, what have yeah. you but mm-hmm. that's and awesome you're, uh, uh, is Drench beautiful. is a member of the Chaldean American Chamber of Commerce yes we are I oh, highly I encourage everyone to you know any new business startups join organizations I have yep. gotten so many I met made so many relationships uh so many contacts um I'm a part of the Chaldean Chamber, the Lebanese Chamber. The um, We have a new Made in Michigan group that a Chaldean guy started. His name is Bassman Paulus. He has a new product as well. Um, might be an opportunity to have him on the show, too. It's uh, Talk about the uh, president of the uh, Lebanese Chamber. Yes. Oh, John Akori, my John brother-in-law. Akori. <laughs> John Akori's a <the> man. Yes. <laughs> hey, John. Love you, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a great networker. Oh, yeah, great. Yes. And that's how I met the um, CEO of Henry Ford. Oh, really? Is, yes. Oh, great. So, yeah. That's what it takes. God bless. Yeah. About knowing one person the next and passing that yeah. on. That's the whole, what we like, what we're doing with all this. Yep. This network is yes. just going to build more and more it's for great. everybody. And build awareness on the products and services yep. out there and within our community and our Lebanese brothers. And sisters, <laughs> and uh, bring the more business to one another. So, just um, to talk about in regards to it, your overall competitive edge on Drench versus the rest of the product, it's clean. It's clean. Yeah, it's clean. The ingredients, um, the oils, especially, um, and they taste good too. Like, you don't have to compromise taste. Um, the Mediterranean lemon happens to be vegan. Um, and vegan is not always synonymous with great tasting and mm-hmm. just like gluten free too. Yep. Like it's hard, you know, but they're delicious. Yeah. So I think you mentioned the, do you need to eat something 13 times to, right. <laughs> so I, I, I just went vegan about four months ago and I've been, I've had a veggie burger before mm-hmm. and I couldn't stomach it. And now I crave them. It's, wow. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's it's hard, especially when we get to our age. I went yeah. vegetarian three and a half years. For three and a half years? For three and a half oh, yeah. years. How did you feel? This. It was good. It was a little tough. And I'll tell you something. Um, You know, unless you have the ability to share that goal with somebody, mm-hmm. like either like a spouse or your kids or right. what have you, solely doing it is not the easiest. It's hard. Right. Yeah, it's because like exercising, too. It's nice, to, nice to have an exercise partner. Yep. Yep. So I switched a little bit after. I ended up going back to chicken first and then worked my way back into beef and chicken and what have you. But I've been more conscious on the meats, maybe cleaner, more organic and what have you. But, again, I mean, what you're doing is is hard. That's yeah. plant-based. Plant-based. Yeah. It's very hard. You're not taking any meat, whether it's seafood, whether right. it's chicken, beef, pork, any of that planning. stuff. Yeah. I did have to sample the the dolma yesterday. <laughs> you did? Make sure the rice was prepared, my mom. Just to oh, make sure. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's excusable. Yeah. It's sun. It's our second Sunday yesterday, anyway, too. So it's cheat day. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, one thing to say about vegan, it's been it's becoming a way of life. It's it really been a is. movement. It's not yep. a trend. Like I see the other trends, like keto, which mm-hmm. this one happens to be very keto friendly. I didn't okay. create it with that, but that just I got lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very um, keto friendly, but um, but the whole community has been so wonderful. 
I've gotten a ton of exposure with publications as well. And, oh, yeah. Um, we yep. have, uh, she's in the Chaldean News. Chaldean News yeah. and in Our Magazine. And Our Magazine. That's yep. awesome. So in the Chaldean News, they highlighted uh, women entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. And uh, then the Chaldean Moms page, the Chaldean Moms of Metro Detroit, the Facebook page. Yep. Um, we did a podcast, a Facebook podcast, and it was me, Vanessa Denha, and uh, Lisa. Was Lisa on there? Yes, too? Lisa, Lisa Denha, Denha. Yes. Yep. Uh, she was the host, and uh, Lisa does a lot of great things for the community too. Yeah, she's amazing. Yep. Go Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Go Lisa. <laughs> she's a dear friend of mine. And Vanessa. Yep. Yeah, Vanessa, Vanessa too. Yep. Vanessa's always yep. been around. Yes. Doing doing her. Thing. Vanessa's more quiet on the yeah. back. Lisa yeah. Lisa comes out the shadow. She does her <laughs> thing, which is good. Yes. And they had Gabby's Garden, which is another women entrepreneur. In our community, nice. um, last month our magazine featured um, our dressings. So there's a mom and daughter blogger team in West Bloomfield, Lexi Harrison and her mom, and they were hired by our magazine to feature one made in Michigan product mm-hmm. uh, to select the product and then create a recipe around it. And uh, they created, they, they chose the drenched Mediterranean lemon, and they created that's it right there a new twist nice. on fatouche. Yeah, it was nice that they, they did it. And they're great. Mm-hmm. She's a photographer as well. So so the mom re- creates recipes, and her daughter is the photographer. And they, the recipe is fatouche with crispy zasser chickpeas. Mm. Instead of doing the pita chips, yeah. um, she kept it gluten-free. Um, and and her, her, um, on, on Instagram, if you want to follow them, they're great. Um, lots of great recipes. Crowded Kitchen is the name. Crowded, Crowded Kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Lots of gluten-free vegan recipes. Really? Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Everything bottled yeah. here local in the Metro Detroit area yes. that you guys do? It okay. Is. Yep, so you right keep here in Detroit. Right. Yes. For That's sure. great. Yes. Do you have some words you'd like to give not just the women, I mean mm-hmm. women, men or young any children? Entrepreneurs. Yeah, any, any entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs that just yeah, what kind of push? Yeah. Well, I mean I, I, I think the main thing is is do what you love. If it's your passion, that's huge. Yeah. Because I it's funny because I went to college and I was a CTA. I graduated with an accounting degree, was a CPA, was a certified internal auditor, and now I'm doing dressing. Yeah. But I love it, though. I love, like, messing around in the kitchen, mixing up different concoctions. So I would say do what you love. Figure out what your passion is. Um, don't take no for an answer. Just persevere and just network, really network. And we have so many ways to do that now with social media. Yeah. It's a free way to get your product out there. I mean, yep. I don't think Drench would be as big as it is today without it. Of course. Yep. I mean, or any business for that matter. Free platform, like yeah. you said. Yeah. Very it's nice. a free platform. Um, yeah, I mean, I was like anyone else. I was nervous, you know. I grew up in a in a home where, you know, I couldn't go away to school. And, you know, it was always everything had to be cautious. And, no, you can't be out late. And so, like, it was. To to do this really took a lot for me to go to yeah, put myself you, out there. Plus, you grew up with the Chaldean entrepreneurial spirit too, yeah. though. So yeah, that's a it's a beautiful yes. thing. Could we ever see in the future any uh, drunk dressing kitchen videos or anything like this? <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool. You know what I mean? Just to I would yeah stirring up some of the yeah, stuff in the kitchen and, it, yes. and and having us watch you. Yeah, you know what for I mean? Sure. That'd be just, cool. Just the other day, um, someone said I would love to see a drench restaurant concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I've always thought about it, making it available like drive-through, like a McDonald's, where you can just grab. But healthy. It. But healthy. That that yeah. would be my ultimate goal. Drench and go. Yeah, drench and go. I love yep. it. Drench and go. That's it. I love it. Drench and go. Royalties if that goes through. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I owe a lot to my. I mean, my mom and dad came here, and you know, they both um, worked hard. My dad, they got married here. Um, my dad worked for his uncles in their stores. And then um, soon he bought his own, and we all worked it, and we had good, you know, family. Your mom was a teacher, working. right? My mom was a teacher, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Both my yep. parents were very educated, which was not very common back then. Yep, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so education was really big with them. My dad, my mom was a teacher. My dad um, had a degree as well. And, yeah, they were, it was really important for us to all go to college. Mm-hmm. So, but I still worked at the store while I went to college. Right, right. That, that, I, that I remember. Yeah. That I'd remember. You'd get in the morning, do yeah. your thing, and you'd be off yeah. to school. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Well, anything so, else you want to share yeah, before we toast these uh, avocado toasts? Ooh, yeah, you got to try those. Taste the um, toast. So, what are we dripping on the toast? Is are we gonna? Oh yes, we have to. Um, 
we do have to drizzle it a little bit. All right. But I just want to say thank you again. I think gratitude is huge. I think we don't do it enough. We're always quick to, you know, complain or, you know, bring out negativity. I think it's, you know, important to always bring out positive. Yep. Um, I just want to thank, my, I mean, my family. I mean, I, feel, I sound like I'm on an Academy Award. Yeah, yeah, you won. Award. You're the winner, winner. <laughs> no, but my, my family's been off. My sisters, my brother, my parents. And, like, I mean, even my, um, my sister-in-law, Lila, she is... She's like amazing. I mm-hmm. like call her every time I had a, a success, and um, I even she's a great writer and a, and a she's um, a great speech writer, and 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 I call her. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do this thing tomorrow with Kelly and I need some pointers, and she's that's like, huge. Just mm-hmm. be yourself. Just you know, I'm saying it's huge because like, just like you said, yeah, think sure about it. Well. Somebody who doesn't know Kelly and owned. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody said something to me just so we can touch on that real quick, and then we'll get into cheering and cheating. Sure, sure. <laughs> somebody said, "There's somebody better though that may do it." And I shouldn't said, put this. Sorry, shouldn't oh. put this near these other ones. Oh, yeah, we don't want to confuse. We don't want to contaminate the good stuff. Yeah. Somebody said to me, "I don't shouldn't have to do business with somebody just because they're Chaldean." I said, "No, you, you know, you don't. You always have your choice." But what it is is, why wouldn't I give? drench a chance yeah of course instead of mm-hmm. jumping into what i see over there just knowing again whether it's the first time and i liked it or if it took me 13 times to like it the point is we're here we're here to encourage the chance to give that person the opportunity sure. yeah who's this person you could tell me who it is offline so i can go <laughs> smack them up quiet so them what down are they are they worried that it's no might steal their idea no 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 what? they were saying in regards oh. to um just because it's chaldean oh why oh. should i pick drench and I said it's it, it was. I don't think it was drenched specifically. No, 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 no. I'm no. saying it, I'm, right, I'm right, giving right. this as an example yeah. to say why we're doing this. Doesn't mean I'm forcing or we're pushing just to say you have to just because they're Chaldean. Right, right. You have your choices. But the point is, why wouldn't I give her a chance to use this product before the next one? And if I like it, then I'm now liking and supporting something that's our. Yeah. And if not, if my taste buds are different, I, I still have choices. My to go question with. to that person would have been, why are we even having this conversation? Like how do why do I need to explain this to you? That's like w- what happened to you? Like did you get hit by a car? Did you, <laughs> did you fall off a ladder? You bump your head? <laughs> oh man! But I agree. And it's, it's nice to support local, regardless yeah. of yeah. who it is. Local, sure. of yeah. course, yeah. Sure. So. Yep, I believe in that. And Keldean Chamber members. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, actually, thirty percent of the members of the Keldean Chamber are, are not non keldean Oh wow! Really? I didn't know yeah. that. I thought it was just more. Aimed at crowd. Nope. Martin started that back what, two thousand and two, two thousand and three. I don't know the exact date. Yeah, it was around oh two oh three. Okay. Yep, around that time. But it's been going that long. That's good, man. So, what else do you want to share, if anything? Um, just said if you, um, I do share a lot on social media, mm-hmm. so you can follow me on Instagram, Drench Dressing, um, on Facebook, Drench. Um, All of that will be posted in yes. the description also. Yes, and you know, more recipes coming soon. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Can't wait. Thank you. Exciting. Yeah. Right. And I'm hired, right, as yes. part of the tester? Right. Anytime. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let's yes. do it, buddy. And they're both vegan. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Wow. Good? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Great. Good, good, good. Thank oh, you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can go. eat this every morning. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. it's all over my face, too. <laughs> so I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, all right. Thanks, for, uh, thanks everyone, for tuning in. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank for, you Karen, coming for coming out. Thank really you. appreciate if you it. Thank you. Any questions or anything, Thank please email gift. me, Karen at iDrench.com. Visit my website, iDrench. We're going to uh, sample the salad afterwards, also, and we're going to write a little review on it as well. Sounds good. Thanks, thanks everyone. Mm-hmm. Thanks Thank for watching. Thank you.